guys, so in today's video, we're checking out a game called Roville. So in Roville, it's kind of like Bloxburg and Sims. So pretty much, um, if you ever played Bloxburg before, which hopefully you have, um, it's kind of similar like that, and then has similarities to Sims 4. But if you're interested in checking the game out, well, the game currently costs 50 Robux, and it is in beta stage, so be aware of that. Um, you're going to have to pay 50 Robux to actually play it. But overall, I think it's fun. It doesn't have as much features added to it as Bloxburg and Sims 4. But if you just want to play a game that has a mix of Bloxburg and Sims, go ahead and check it out. Alrighty, so let's get started. So when it concerns building and um, kind of like that, it's pretty similar to Bloxburg and Sims. It's uh, you got the uh, pretty much the same layout. But yeah, Roville has all sorts of stuff. It has like doors, windows, fences, stairs, columns. And then when it comes to the furniture side of things, it has all sorts of stuff. Um, you can add all sorts of electronics. You can add like different types of computers, laptops. Then when it comes to bathrooms, there's all sorts of like um, toilets and uh, showers. It's, it's a pretty wide genre for a beta game. So I'll give them that. Um, I wouldn't give them probably a 10, but I'd probably give them somewhere like a 9 or an 8 because there is certain ones where they could expand on. Now, when it comes to exploring and free roam, this game has done it. I love it. You have a full-on city with a downtown area, which I really love. I really love the downtown area. They could have not done any worse. Um, that is just, that's amazing, with the, including with the lighting and everything. <laughs> I actually really like that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of places to explore, more than Boxburg. So yeah, kudos to you guys on that. Now, what I would like to see is, you know, like more places added to the map. Because the only places you can go are kind of like work, uh, work involved places and then clothing. And I really think if they can just like add so much more to the game um, involving like gameplay and stuff, they really could improve on the you know player base and stuff but it is currently in beta so you can't really judge them too much on gameplay but yeah so far i really like the game it's a lot of fun including if you just want to like ride around the map it could take you a ton of time i think it took me about 20 to 30 minutes just riding through the entire map it is a pretty big map and i gotta give the, the vet devs that um, for making a game kind of like this like a sims 4 sims 4 really hasn't had a free roam or free play type game it's basically locked on to the character and you really the only way you can kind of like uh, go around is through a map and um, these guys really allowed you to do it yourself um, so yeah I, I really enjoy that now onto the question is it worth it well that's what you have to determine yourself for me personally I found it very worth it um, I had about a hundred robux left so I, just, I basically saw it I bought it for 50 robux and I really didn't expect much but if you want to buy it think about this Bloxburg cost of 25 compare Bloxburg and um, yeah Roville compare Roville and Bloxburg and see if Roville is kind of worth the 50 robux compared to the 25 robux that um, Bloxburg costed in their beta or early access now the uh, gameplay side of things they don't have as much as you would think they would um, unfortunately, they only got a couple to a few jobs. I think there's like three or four jobs, and the jobs are very limited. Um, there's office worker, which is kind of like math, then like a pizza, a burger, and I think you can work at the clothing store. So uh, they don't have that much added to it just yet, like Bloxburg and Sims 4. But in the, over time, it probably should improve because this is just beta. So, so in Roadville, there's three jobs that you can pick up, pick from dinner block chef dinner cashier and office worker uh, mainly office worker is where you can like do you do math on the computer and then you like type it in uh, type the right answer in and it'll give you a lot of cash if you really want to make a lot of money I suggest going for office worker because the amount of money you actually earn is a lot more than all of the other ones like the chef and the cashier the um, cashier is probably the least um, I, I suggest just going for office worker because cashier you don't really make anything you you might make something but uh it's like a very low salary so um and then with chef chef just takes a lot of walking around and stuff office worker you just use your head you just add it together and then you type it in and you'll earn like 25 or 50 dollars per one 
So yeah, if you're wanting to make a lot of money, I suggest going for office worker. But if you're just going a little bit more casual, maybe cashier. But yeah, um, concerning like the review of the game on like jobs and everything, I I think they should at least animate stuff a little bit more. Um, like with Chef and Cook, I think things should be animated more than just walk over, click on it, and then finish order. Um, and cashier, I guess the cashier is okay, but I think they should add a little bit more um, to the uh, restaurant because <laughs> there's not even a, I didn't even see a menu, so uh, they gotta add that. And then, what they also have to add, like with Office Worker, I think they should add like a computer thing, like maybe like a computer program, like Windows 10 or something like that. Add something like that, except add some like weird name, just so that you don't get copyrighted. But yeah, I, I think they could really add on to the job. So I would probably get the jobs like a four to five. It's not, it's not the greatest. I, Sims 4 and uh, Bloxburg really defeats them on jobs. Now one positive thing I can say is that I really like the office worker thing. I really like how you, like they make you do math and stuff because that might help out younger people and that might actually attract audiences. So right then and there, I think that was a great choice for office worker, um, even though they still could have add on, added a bit more to it, but still that, that was a great choice on their end. Now for my official review of the game and what I actually think of it, it's in beta, so I'll give a little bit of mercy to it. but. I'm gonna give it a 8. The reason why I didn't give it a 9 or a 10 or even a lower rating was because of the fact that first off it's in beta and second off the, I have a few positive uh, things I like to say about the game. It has a great map, has a fun map to explore and you know just look at really. It's visually amazing for a beta game and I really think they did good on that. Now my negative things is gameplay. The reason why I gave it like negative two is because of the fact that it lacked jobs it lacked just gameplay features to catch people's eye and keep them playing so if uh, if they're really gonna want to continue and grab that good player base that Bloxburg and Sims 4 has they're really gonna have to improve on gameplay to actually compete with them so yeah I know they're in beta and I know creating a ton of gameplay is not the easiest but if they can just work on that then they might be able to improve their player count and um, improve their game even more. Alrighty, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the review and if you enjoyed me playing this game, feel free to let me know. Maybe I'll continue making videos on this game exactly. And if you guys really want me to continue playing this game, maybe I can do a little bit of a let's play. But yeah, once again, thanks guys for watching. If you have any feedback for me, like uh, what I need to do next or what I should do next, yeah, then I'll feel free to let me know. I'd love to hear your opinion. Um, including let me know what you think of the game. Let me know your rating. Um, and uh, yeah, if you've tried the game out, just let me know. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to click that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever I make a new game review or aviation review, then feel free to click that notification bell to be notified. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.